Out here in Chico, we're at East Avenue Church. It's one of the many shelters that have opened up their doors to evacuees from Paradise. To give you an idea, Paradise is about eight miles that way. So let me take you through a walk through this shelter, starting off with bottles of water. Just so many people have been coming out graciously offering what they can from the water you see there, from food to even uh, this coffee company. This is Bridge Coffee Company. They came all the way out here from Marysville and they are giving away free coffee. Now they do say that what they don't need is a lot of uh, clothing that you see in there. But before we head back there, I want to peek inside. This is where a lot of the evacuees have stayed over the past 24 hours. Um, many, many elderly people inside there. Uh, right now they're eating lunch and kind of just trying to figure out the state of their home. It's been a very busy past couple of days for these folks, but heading again back outside. Uh, we have a family that we'd like to speak with. This family has lived in paradise their whole life, and they say pretty much all, three generations have lost their home. I will tell you that this shelter is at capacity, but they are not turning anybody away down to the dogs. Your family pet is welcome out here. So far, 200 people, many of them elderly from an assisted living facility in Paradise. Uh, we're passing the family quarters. This is where they've asked us not to go into because there's a lot of small children. Uh, let's just get through the clothing that you see here. And I have been speaking with Marilyn. Marilyn, talk to me about Obviously, you've discovered that your home is destroyed. Right. Um, we've discovered that our home is destroyed. My whole family here, their homes are destroyed. My brother-in-law went up there yesterday to Paradise and confirmed that all of um, my three sisters and our houses are burnt to the ground. The only thing that was standing was a fireplace. These part of my family has not actually got confirmation of whether or not their house is burned down. We heard that the Woodhood is still standing, but we don't know. Thank you so much for yeah. talking to us, but you did mention it's better knowing than not knowing because many people here don't know. It is better knowing because for me, the news is saying that it's a devastation that we don't want to see, but for us, it's a devastation we need to see to be able to rebuild our, to start over and rebuild our life. We have to close that chapter and in order to close it, we have to see it. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much for talking to us. Obviously, you're in our thoughts and our prayers. Um, I will tell you that a lot of people have been saying Paradise Strong. That's something that we keep hearing, and they keep talking about just the community efforts from people coming out, bringing uh, food and supplies to just everybody banding together in this time of despair. In Chico, I'm Monica Garcia. Back to you.